hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome 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 my name is Tammy and today we're gonna talk about some things that you can do with your kids during the summer holiday in Jamaica no it's like the middle of August there are like two more weeks left for school to start but you still have time to make the most of it this is mainly for parents who are staying at home with their kids or family members who are staying at home with the children and are absolutely bored and frustrated not knowing what to do so i have put together a few stuff some of the stuff that i've done already with my two boys as well as other suggestions that you can do i hope you enjoy <laughs> see by the light on my face here it's a pretty sunny afternoon it's a perfect afternoon to do a lot of the things that I'm about to suggest my first and favorite one is to go to the river or to the beach somebody a water like this is Jamaica land of wood and water there is a free beach in almost every parish I would like to think and there is like a river in a lot of these areas so the children would you know during school time they don't get that opportunity so much to go to the beach or go to the river often and i would highly recommend that you bring them to said beach or river at least twice throughout the summer if you haven't done anything with them already and it's still just it's already august as we are now then you can bring them at one time if two time come and you can then that's awesome they, they would really love that take them to get fast food now a lot of parents might not agree with this but i mean traditionally jamaican kids love them chicken and chips and them little kfc and them little burger king it's not something that you'd give them all the time it's not something that you'd give them in a regular school day just you know consistently or so and because of that they would find it very exciting you bring them don't just buy the burger king or the papayas or the whatever and carry it home you know like actually bring them out on the road, bring them to sit down and eat, make them just feel nice, bring them to get ice cream. Like it's summer and ice cream, it goes together without saying. So bring them to get some ice cream, even if it's just one time during the summer, they are going to love it. I made some notes so you might see me looking down. Um, yeah, so paint with them. Give them like face painting. No, I can't paint. <laughs> I cannot draw. I am not the most artistic when it comes to, you know, the little arts and crafts projects. But I did <laughs> try a little thing with my boys, and you'll see it here. I'm gonna add the clips just so you can see. It doesn't matter if it looks like, you know, not like a paint, a face painter did it or whatever. The point is just to bond with them, to build a closer relationship with them and to make them have some fun with anything that you're doing during the summer. I know you might have work, I know you might have other things on your mind, you have stuff going on, but make some time to bond with your children because I've realized that that is important, that is key when it comes to having kids with good mental health. And we'll talk about that in another video, but trust me, bond with them painting with them make them paint big them up and say yes that look good and that look nice and make them feel special make them have fun with it talk to them so th this is a part of the whole bonding too talk to them talk with them get to know them have some time where you sit down and you sit down for one good half hour and you just chat like ask them so what's up today how are you feeling you know like we like to eat make them talk to you make them tell you about themselves don't just look at them and observe them as the parent and say okay my child is this my child is that no pay attention to your child sit and talk with them bond with them and the summertime is the best time go outside somewhere go to the park somewhere and just sit on that tree and just allow them to talk kids like talking as long as they have someone to listen to so be that someone that they can talk to have a movie day or a movie night no if you're watching this you have internet or you have access to the internet you have a smartphone or a computer or a tv or something don't know the movie or go on netflix 
go on YouTube. There are movies on YouTube. There are different ways that you can get movies from the internet. Sit with them. Turn off the lights. Close up the place. Put your phone on. Do not disturb. One hour, 45 minutes, two hours, something. Sit down with that child or those children and let watch a movie. Better yet have them pick the movie, get like a list of movies, couple of them, couple of cartoon, five, six, and allow the child or the children to pick. If you have multiple kids, let them vote or something and allow them to be immersed and, you know, feeling interactive and all of these things while you're making those choices. Another thing that you can do is find out something that they're interested in or in doing and help them with it. My oldest son, Rahim, he's 10. He has been really interested in cooking. He likes to be in the kitchen. He wants to see what I'm doing. And so this summer, I've made it a point of my duty to help him to do that. So we're Jamaicans, you know, we love with bush tea for the most part. And so every morning, I help him to make the tea or when it comes to certain things, I help him to cook and make him little fried plantain or him sausage, so I slice them up. And then I guide, I guide him at first, but now I'm able to sit back and watch him. As he works, he likes his independence. He loves to be able to put on the tea himself and loves to be able to make the breakfast himself. I got breakfast in bed one morning and for me, that was epic. That was everything, like, you know, that was everything. But on a real, you know, he's really excited. He looks forward to getting up in the mornings and cooking because that's what he's been looking forward to. That's what he is interested in. That's what he likes doing. And I'm helping him to grow that that passion that he seems to have now my younger son Kyle, he's interested in sign language <laughs> now i don't know sign language like that i don't teach sign language but there is handy dandy youtube you know the same thing that you're watching this this show on right so what i do is to go on youtube find like a beginner um asl american sign language tutors or teachers and Teach him little things like ABC, teach him how to spell his name, teach him how to say hello, teach him how to say beautiful so you can't tell mommy that she's beautiful, all of those little things and they're excited. Now, one important thing that a lot of parents might be thinking about doing, you know, because back to school is coming up so soon, is revision. Revision, I think, is very important because you're helping them to prepare for the next term. You're helping them to actually... You know, like July come and gone, all months and the first part of August, all the excitement coming down now. Now what you can do is revise the things that you they got in the last year of school. So my boys are coming from grade 1 and grade 4. So we went over, we used the children's own and we went over the different things that they got. Um, we went over some of the lessons in the children's own because they tend to save them up. And now we can move on to grade 5 and grade 2 work to help them prepare, to brace them for the new school year. So when I'm going to school September, everything don't come as a shock. They can feel good. Children feel nice when they're a little ahead of the class, you know, like, I used to feel that way. And I've noticed that with my boys, they feel that way. It seems like when they know a little something, something, and they're ahead of the class, and the teacher can say, yes, wow, wonderful, they feel good. They feel wonderful. So... It's important if you don't have none of the books already, if you don't buy none of the textbooks already, go on Google. There are different learning platforms. Um, there's one called K K5? K5 Learning. I use that one a lot. Um, and it's it's free. They have worksheets, they have um, work from grade one to grade. I don't quite remember, but I will tag the link down below. And of course, you can check it out and see if it is of help to you. You know, if you can't print them out, it's fine. I, what I do, I get them books from last year, them old notebook, and I write out the exercise. Yes, it can be a little time consuming. But guys, parenting is a little time consuming. There are times when we have to put out anything else that we have to do and just focus on helping our children grow. And that's what I've been doing so far. Now, this last part right here, I'm going to sit up straight for this. The children will love this. What you're going to do is give them a back to school treat. Now, you know, I've been nothing big and fancy. Almost most major supermarkets, like I use Progressive a lot when it comes to these things, they sell cakes. 
right? The cake them cheap. The cakes are good price. The little six inch cake is less than two thousand dollars. Even if you have to save up, which some of us might, and that's okay. But put it as a priority. Get a little cake. They will write on it for you in the supermarket. Just have them write, you know, back to school again, or we did it, or New Year, new fun, something. Just put something on it that make them feel a little excited. Don't make it sound like it's back to school time, it's stressing, it's hectic. You have to do your work, you have to study your book, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. No, I stress it, I stress out to put in them best. So don't do that. Don't do that. Make it interesting, make it exciting, make them feel enthusiastic about going back to school. So what I plan to do the last weekend before school, school starting September 5th, which is a Monday, so September 4 or 3, you know, the Saturday or the Sunday, I plan to get a little cake, hopefully some ice cream, maybe bring them to the park. Even if I can't get to bring them to the park, I can do it on the veranda at home where we call them little friend or them little cousin Whoever is closest, you know, like my boys have a cousin up the road, five minutes up the road, and then my goddaughter is pretty close by. So just those two, so there are four of them, and they're gonna just eat some cake, be merry, and just have fun. Even if it is to get more fancy sharpener and wrap it in a little paper and put a little bow on it, or even cut pizza all cloths and make a bow on that little wrapping that you're gonna give them that pretty pencil or that pretty sharpener or that pretty rubber in do something that make them feel special make them feel like they might get something make them feel excited and let them know it's a back to school again because you're gonna be excited too because you know they're getting out of the house <laughs> however you know saying this to say there's a lot of stuff that you there are a lot of stuff that you can do with your children um during the holiday season summer christmas whatever holiday coming up um and it's enjoyable it can be enjoyable just put some effort into it put a little creativity into it and if you think of anything else that you can do with your children just leave a comment below i would love to hear from you hear your suggestions hear your ideas i'm sure there are a whole lot of stuff that i didn't think about to do with my boys i am gonna you know just add a little clip here so you can see some of the stuff that we've been doing over the summer it's not much and again that's why I say if you have any suggestions leave it in the comments because I like to do things on the weekend as well so even when school starts again weekend time come I'm gonna want to do something because I can't deal with bored kids like when I'm bored them miserable and then when they're miserable and mommy mommy mom mom mommy mommy every ten, every 10 minutes mm -mm. we're not gonna do that we have to have them engaged Feeling like they're doing something there are a couple educational websites as well that I found they are free to use the kids love them I'm gonna also link them below so you can check them out and just see if your child might like them some of them Sesame Street website pbskids.org like there are a lot of different stuff that they can do with them little devices my sons have this this habit of watching Minecraft games like I'm, I'm not into that like that I think honestly maybe it's just me and you can tell me in the comment below but me really think that that's a waste of brain space why are you going to sit down just watching somebody play games for hours on end that doesn't make sense to me that it, I get that it might be entertaining to them but limit the time that they do that there are other things that they can use their devices for and so that's what this whole linking down below is for i'm gonna just list a few places that they can check out on their own on their devices and that they're safe to be on but yeah thanks for staying with me thanks for listening um i look forward to hearing or seeing your suggestions in the comments if you liked this video and if it you know enlightened you any at all with the things that you can do with your children please feel free to click on the like button click on the subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i make a new video i'm trying to make them more consistently and put out more content that we us this jamaican population of parents can enjoy and relate to as well as even learn from so Looking forward to seeing you on the next video. This has been the Tammy Carroll Show. Bye for now.